mind you, the fine is up to like, I think it was like a thousand dollars at this point. So if I didn't go to court, I was gonna get fined and have a warrant out for my arrest. This is how I had a warrant out for my arrest. And I was there to witness it. <laughs> it all started when I got a ticket for being on my phone by a police officer. Because who else would give me a ticket? So the officer pulls me over, he gives me a ticket for being on my phone, and they sent out a court date for me. They sent that court date to this house, but we never check our mailbox because we live in like a town home, right? So because I missed my court date, I called the circuit and I was like, can I reschedule? It was a huge misunderstanding. The lady was super nice and she gave me a new court date. Um, the next before court date, we went out and we got <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> So we both wake up the next morning. We're so hungover. This is me when I woke up. I also just got lip filler the day before. Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> this is what I look like when I woke up. <laughs> this was an hour before my court date and I was so, I was still drunk in the morning. So Taylor drives me to court and we get to court. I'm already running late. I run inside and I have no idea like what I'm there for. I'm like freaking out. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to jail, right? So I go in the courtroom and I'm in my car waiting for her and I get a text and she's telling me, please come in. And so I get out of my car, run in there and the security guards are like, we're praying for the time. She has no idea like why she's doing, like what she's doing here. So Taylor comes in the courtroom as the judge is like calling other people's name here in cases and Taylor's sitting right next to me. I didn't say anything. Just I get up and leave. Gets up and leaves. I'm waiting there, like, what the hell? And I see Julie peek around the door, and she's like, come here, come here. And I go out, and she's like, I'm going to jail. I'm and going I, to jail. I literally thought I was going to jail. I thought this because when the judge called my name, I didn't go up and, like, try to rebuttal my case. I literally sat there as he called my name, and I was like, like, I'm not here. Freaking out, I go to the security guard. I'm like, oh, my God, what do I do? What do I do? They called my name. I didn't go up. And the judge was, I mean, the security guard was like, you need to go to the lady in the window and try to get another court date. This would be my third court date, okay? We go up to the window and the lady is like, yeah, you can reschedule, but keep in mind, like, if you miss this court date, the you will one. have a warrant out for your arrest. If you get pulled over again, like, blah, blah, And you can't drive because your license is suspended. But it didn't matter because I lost my license. Not only was my license suspended, but I didn't even have a license anymore. So she sets a date for the third court date. I'm like, oh my God, thank f Mind you, the fine is up to like, I think it was like $1,000 at this point. So if I didn't go to court, I was going to get fined and have a warrant out for my arrest. We leave court. We're celebrating. I'm thinking it's a win. I'm like, okay, yes, I got a third court date. Like, all is good, right? So I'm living my best life. We're celebrating. We go to the Four Seasons. We got like to stay in a condo for free. Let me know if you guys want a story time about that. Two days later, I wake up to a text saying, holy I missed my court date. Third time. Julie. Third time that I missed my court date. Now I have a warrant out for my arrest. My license was suspended. Still didn't have my license, right? So I call them again. I'm crying wolf. I'm like, oh my God, can I please reschedule a court date? Fourth court date. She's like, no, you just have to pay the fine at this point or you're going to get arrested. And that's how I almost got put in handcuffs for all the wrong reasons. Oh wow, this story seems like to never end. Like there's loads of things happening and I just, I'm still processing everything. I mean, she almost got arrested. She didn't at the end, but she actually could because she had four court days, which she did not go to. Like, what's wrong with her? Honestly, girl, put yourself together. You should be taking this seriously because, you know, it's actually really serious because she could have gone to jail. Oh goodness. The good thing, she had a friend next to her which was very uh, positive and, and like supportive and it was always there for her, you know? So that's good. This story is crazy because she ended up booking a second date and then she goes there to the court and then she must be terrified because she is actually on the court. She's at the place but I don't know, she was maybe panicking and she was just like freezing, like, I can't do this. And then when they called her name, she couldn't stand up, she couldn't speak with the judge, so she messed it up. She messed it up. And then she ended up talking with the security guy, but then he told her that she had to go somewhere else. So it's like loads of places they have to go, loads of people that you have to talk to. And in, in the end of the day, nothing is really sorted because... You know, things actually got sorted because she actually got a fourth date to go to the court. But unfortunately, like, she's always keep forgetting, like, girl, honestly, like, you're getting drunk and then you're going out and then you get late and then you just don't get the courage just to stand up and say your name. But yeah, thankfully, at the end, things got sorted, you know, like, she ended up paying for the fine and then let's call it a day, but the worst thing is she cannot drive anymore, but she couldn't anyway because she lost a driver license. So, uh, she's probably have to pay more for that as well. So, she, I don't know for how long was this situation for, but let's say, like, in a month, all of this happened, so she had to pay for a fine. She had all this stress of going to the court and missing the dates, and now she has to be paying 
for another driver license because she lost her first one. Oh, this is so chaotic. 